Welcome back to part two. Now the clock itself has just struck 10 o'clock and it is now going on 10 to 11. What we advise is, if it comes to stopping the clock and you have to leave to go on holiday, say, instead of letting the clock wind down, which we never advise, just stop the pendulum. And when you come back, if it is 10 to 11 again, when you come back, just start the pendulum off again. And then you can alter the date as you were shown in video one. If you come back and it's one o'clock in the afternoon, but the clock is showing 10, what we advise is always leave the clock strike off every single hour as you're winding it round. To say if it's 11 o'clock, you'll let it stop at 11 o'clock before moving the fingers forward. And then after it's struck off the 11, move it round to the 12, let it strike off the 12 o'clock completely, and then so on and so forth until it actually gets to the time that you need it to be. Once the clock's all been sorted out and it's been put in beat, there is little ways to be able to adjust the clock. If the clock is out of beat, what you'll find is it'll sound like a man with a wooden leg walking over a cobbled stone. What you need to have is the balanced tick tock of the clock. Now the actual arm at the back, which is that little L shape, which is called the crutch, if you needed to alter it to put it into B, there is a way of being able to move that left and right. But because the clock is actually set up on the square, if it's out of beat, it will be out of beat by very, very little, very, very small margins. That's where these wedges come into handy. If it's slightly out of beat, listen to the clock, and it needs to be lifted left or right to be able to put it in beat. You can slide the wedge under just a little bit, and it will lift up the actual works itself on that side, which saves you having to uh, mess about with the crutch at the back. Because as soon as you bend that crutch out of position, then you're really chasing the game. If it's only fractional, you don't need to move the crutch a great deal. And by putting the wedges underneath, it will balance the health clock itself. Take the hood, and slide the hood on. And then close the door. And there you have one long case clock that was made here in Flamhurst set up. Sometimes, if your floor is uneven or if you have a carpet, we would advise that you fix the clock to the wall. Now, at the back of most clocks, you usually find that there are holes in the back where previously they've been fixed to walls as it is. So what we would advise is for you to be able to get a little space set, make sure the clock is all balanced uh, and sorted out exactly the same way as it was before. Put the space at the back of the clock here if you've got a skirting board. And then what you'll do is you'll fasten the clock or screw the clock to the actual wall itself. Thank you very much for listening and putting up with me. And if you have any further questions, you can visit us on our website, which is www.snodoniantiques.co.uk, or you can email us at snodoniantiques at gmail.com, which should appear round about here. Thank you very much.